Hello, hello everyone, hello. Um, it brings me great pleasure to bring to you all this deal, the country club, this investment opportunity, the country club that's located in Houston, Texas, 134 units. Um, my uh, LLC, Murphy Bain and Financial Group has teamed up with Fairwinds to raise capital for this particular deal. So there's a lot that I want to get started with because one, I want to tell you why I like this deal. I want to tell you what is it that made me want to be a part of this and raise capital for this investment opportunity. One, I was already looking in Houston, Texas. I have booths on the ground there. I have a team of 10 others that are also raising capital for this particular opportunity. And we, we look in Houston, Texas. So I'm familiar with Houston, Texas. I'm familiar with where this property is located, which is in the Northern part of Houston, Texas. I'm familiar with that. I know, and, and the location. So, but Houston, what I love about Houston is that Houston has a growing population, all right? They are, and, and, and what I look for in growth, I will look at from 2000 to, to, to the present and see, I wanna see the growth. And this has done nothing but, but grown over, you know, um, uh, and, and I mean a great deal. So the median household income and, and some of those numbers will come up again. So the median household income has grown by 44% from 2000 all the way to uh, uh, 2021. The, the median uh, condo home value have increased well over 100%, 155% matter actually, okay? Crime is good in, in this uh, Houston area and the job growth rate. If you look at the um, uh, uh, Department of Numbers, you'll see that this particular, that Houston has a 4.73% job growth. So that right there um, really, uh, you know, what drew me um, to, uh, drew me to Houston, it was the criteria that I had already set for myself. Okay, now this deal, what's, what I like about it? The 12 prep, right? The investors are going to get paid before I do. I'm not going to get deep into it, but I just wanted to know the highlights of what brought, what attracted me to this deal, okay? 12 prep, the GPs will not receive any money until that 12 prep is hit. And then they will collect their fees or whatever, okay? So um, that was, is what really uh, turned me on. And I know, and, and I had presented some, I, I know I have emailed you all this, the investment packet, I and I got great returns. Um, when I say returns, great, a great response from many of you that you like this investment opportunity and you was interested. So I wanted to do a video now explaining to you why I really like it and, and, and uh, you know, and uh, to raise the capital. So just to give you a little bit of introduction, we're gonna go, we're gonna introduce the introductions part. I'm getting to the housing market deal metrics, rev, the renovation plan, the capital stack. Okay, and then what's next, the next step. Um, first, we have to do the disclaimer. You know, this presentation is it uh, does not constitute an offer to sell or the solicitation of an offer to buy securities. Um, securities may be offered and sold only to accredited investors. This is a 503, a 506C. Excuse me, I'm about to say 503. 506 c okay? So this is a 506 c So this is for accredited investors only. And as, as you, you have received the packet, uh, please make sure that you read the disclaimer. Okay, so a little bit. Uh, about the Murphy Bainer Financial Group. So um, real estate is one, real estate is, is a proven vehicle. We all know that to create wealth. So with commercial apartments and providing uh, unique advantages, what we uh, do is we, we want to make it easy, right? For people to invest um, with us, okay? So 
Um, so what we look for are opportunities, investment opportunities that best fits you, okay? Um, whether it's through, you know, um, the tax benefits or whatever, okay? But we look for what is good for our investors. How do we underwrite our deals? The way we underwrite our deals, right? We are conservative. We take a conservative approach, okay? We, um, we, we try not to take, we, we do not look at uh, high risk, like too high of a risk. We try to target low risk investments with a moderate upside, right? Some value add potential, okay? Um, but our number one goal is to protect you, is to protect our investor. And our second goal is to grow it, all right? So we are a commercial multifamily real estate firm that acquires underperforming properties within uh, well-performing uh, uh, economies in the, the, um, the Southern United States or, or Southeast where Texas is, Texas South, is, that's true South, or, but you can say South or West, I guess. But we do look in the Texas market. We upgrade the physical conditions and, man, and, and or management systems to increase the property value we then seek to refinance and or exit the deal. And as I go through this pitch deck, you will see that I've hit, that uh, the reason why I teamed up with Fairwinds is because they hit each and every one of the things that I look for in an investment opportunity for my investors, okay? So let me show you who the team. So Fairwinds, this is Fairwinds right here. Okay, you got Jonathan, Corey, Vadim, uh, and, and Mr. Bavaja. Okay, and all these, um, the group here, great performers. They both <clears throat> are um, they're in the military, served time in the military. I give them much respect um, for being in the military, but <clears throat> here they are. This, these are the, uh, the board of directors. And then you have your key principles. Jim Biggs, who, who's a, a co-sponsor, but he's also the founder of the GOB network of apartment investors. And uh, I am too. I am also uh, an affiliate of the GOB network. Okay. You have Julianne Peason, co-sponsor. Uh, she's a senior loan officer. She's working close on the loan side. So, and you have Kimra Holcomb, co-sponsor. Uh, and she's the CEO of Vis uh, Vicenia Living. She is the property manager. So the, the key principles have a great uh, stake in this because they, are, they all have, um, they have all taken a part in that whole development from the lending, the property management and, 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 and the key principle, okay? And with, and, and the, with all of this here, th these are veterans. With, you know, these are rich, all three of them combined with uh, business with over 100 years of real estate experience here. That's how long they've been in the business, okay? And then you have me um, as a general partner. So just a little bit about me, I, you know, I, I served 10 years in the army, got out in the 90s. I was doing real estate. I also pursued a nursing career. Um, one thing that's not here, I also pursued a uh, uh, I had my own travel agency, and but then I got into real estate. I came back into real estate, that is, because in the 90s, I was into real estate when I got out of the Army, okay? And I purchased properties in many states, because at the time, I was single family, doing single family. and But it was six years ago that I got my license in the state of New Jersey, where I'm a realtor, and I am with KW Commercial, okay? And that's where I hang my license. And I currently own uh, 80 units in Vicksburg, 104 units in Augusta, Georgia. And we're about to go full cycle on the 104. It is on the market right now. So collective experience. With this property, you have tons of experience. You have over 100 years of experience just from the three co-sponsors co by themselves. Okay. All right. You have well over uh, 100 years of experience. 
32 active multifamily investments, um, total value of collectively 625.5 uh, million, six, over 6,000 units, all right? Uh, um, that's currently invested in, 29 full cycle multifamily transactions, okay? And, and when you look at unit-wise, that's 6,689 that went full cycle. Renovation, 123.6 million renovation. Kimra alone has done a great deal of that. She's from this area, from this market. She knows this market, she knows this property, okay? So, and the average value added has been 63.7%. So you're looking at an experienced team here that, that's going to get the job done, okay? So I already had mentioned that uh, the population, okay? But Houston, fourth largest city in the United States, population growth has been astronomical one and a half percent per year, okay? Job growth, um, job growth 13% over the last year, okay, alone, all right? And, and they have projected for 17 and a half, over the next decade, right? Rent growth, they are uh, exceeding rent growth, but here you have, Houston is like three year average rent growth of 4.1%, okay? And household income here, I stated 54,000 uh, average, home, average home value, 230K, uh, upward trending 3.9. So let me tell you a little bit about the country club. 1977 year built is 1.5 miles from the interstate. Okay, 134 total units. You got 61 bed, one bath, 64 two bed, one bath, four uh, two beds, one and a half bath, and these are townhomes. Then you got six two bed, two and a half baths. That's that are townhomes. This property sits on 5.08 acres, and it's a, a total square footage is 119,552. Now, the thing that one other thing I like about these particular properties, they have pitched roofs. Okay, so they have pitched roofs. Um, I'm not afraid of flat, but I do like the pitched, the pitched roofs. Okay, so you have individual um, HVAC units. Each unit has their own individual HVAC. So here's a picture of actually where this property sits, and as you can see right here. This is the property. It's in the northern part of Houston, close to Interstate 45, all right? Close to Interstate 45, not far from the circle. I call this the circle, the Sam Houston Tollway, okay? All right. And another thing about this particular property that you will like is that, <coughs> excuse me, this property sits close to three medical centers. So Country Club is here, and here's a hospital, and here's two medical centers. Now, this property here has never, has not had, a problem. I'm not gonna say never, I'm saying has not had any kind of problem with flooding or um, power outage. Why? Because it is on the grid with the medical, fa medical facilities, okay? It's on the grid with the medical facilities. So you're investing in a property that's on the grid uh, of the medical facilities and and close to three 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 medical locations so that alone that alone is is something that uh that the the tenants look for you know you want to be close to some a, a hospital you also have your kroger's that's not far you also have your Starbucks, you know if Starbucks is there, okay, um, that's a good area. And if you like steaks, you got Texas Roadhouse, right? Not that far. So, so as you can see, the property sits in a very good uh, location. And, okay, so who are some of the, the employers here? Okay, you got Anderson, MD Anderson, the University of Texas. You have Methodist, Kroger, United Airlines, Shell, Walmart. So you, we do have great jobs 
here in this area, okay? So um, that's, that's where that is. Now, let's talk about the deal metrics on this. What is it uh, about this deal that you really need to know? One, there's a $6.6 .6 million raise, okay? The, and, and, and we're closing in December. I know the, you know the time you're saying, wait a minute, December next week. I know, but I prepped you. I sent you the information. I'm hoping that you're ready to make the move because now we have everything um, up and running the PPM and everything. So now we're just ready to make the move, but I'll talk about that in the next step, okay? There's uh, the equity split is 80-20. As I, as I said to you before, we have a 12% pref, right? But there's um, a waterfall to where, um, like I said, no one, the GPs will not get paid or the co-sponsors will not get paid until that 12% pref is hit. If once we hit 18%, then we were going to a 50-50, okay? So it's 80% right now where the limited, uh, the passive investors will receive 80-20, right? But nothing goes to the, general um, partners because it's this is the incentive to so that we can hit this thing for us okay okay so on year three what the what the plan is is to refinance give you back to, to give the investor 65 percent or or higher and just we're anticipating that to return that capital return of capital at the end of three years now, remember I said, this is a three to five year hold. So this business plan is for three to five years. And it also depends on the condition of the market. Everything here is a projection. We are projecting to hit these numbers, okay? 1.85 on equity multiple. You put in a hundred grand, you'll get back what? 185 grand, okay? So um, the estimated cash flow in year one, is 180,000. You have a 17.5 percent internal rate of return. The um, purchase price for this 134 unit is 12.25 million. Okay. So, as I touched bases on this already, I'm just, I'm just uh, we already spoke about. It. I'm not going to stick on this too long. But like I said, 12 percent pref, and that's what I really want to drill in is that you got a 12% PREF here, 12% 12, 12 PREF. The equity split, okay? A, a split of all the cash, like I said, 80-20, then you hit the 18%, it's gonna go to 50-50. Return of capital, 65% or, or greater uh, uh, returned by the end of year three. We have the waterfall that's that's gonna take effect, all right? We have the equity multiple of 1.85. Uh, so if you invest 100,000, you get 100, and 85,000 back over the life of the project and the internal rate of return, okay? Which is the measurement, which is measured return on investment based on the amount of time the capital is held in the deal or in this investment opportunity, okay? And the waterfall, you win first. Like I, like, and again, we just reiterating 12%, 80-20, uh, uh, until we get to the 18%, I did say it then goes 50 50, and that's right here. So, this is wow, this is sort of fuzzy. Sorry about that. But if you invest 100,000, five year exit, you will get $185,000 back. That's how this, this is a 1.85 equity multiple. So if you invest 100,000, you will get 185,000 back. The 65,000 is what we are projecting to hit to return that investment back to uh, uh, to the investors. So total return, 185K. Again, 17.5 RR, the average cash on cash uh, return is 10 plus percent, okay? and Again, equity multiple. So what is our business plan? What is our business plan? The business plan is to renovate, improve management and stabilize this asset. We're gonna then refi this project and we're gonna, and 
and the capital event, we will utilize capital events, that is the sale of refinance to obtain and eclipse our targeted return metric uh, uh, based on the market conditions. So, um, and, and we, we did talk, talk about, I did mention this already, but this is what the business plan is, okay? So what's going to be done? The value add details. So in this particular op investment opportunity, we have identified four opportunities to increase the overall NOI, okay, um, by 740,000 in the first three years, okay? We're gonna, this is gonna be a, a, a big move. So per unit income as of September, 2021, Three is 300, it's 334, 343, excuse me, dollars below market potential. From the time they had this pop, uh, to, to now what's closing, the market has constantly increased, but the property right now is below market, okay? So um, as of September, this was $343 below market. So we're gonna drive up, we're gonna drive up the economic occupancy, okay? Because uh, um, right now, it, um, the economic vacancy is around 20%. And with plant, with the renovation, we expect to obtain a 10% vacancy, or economic vacancy, okay? Economic vacancy, all right? This particular asset, just wanna, I just want to put this out. This particular asset is currently physical occupancy is at 95% or greater, right? When they underwrote this opportunity, they underwrote this opportunity at a 30% vacancy rate because they knew they was gonna come in and do work. So the, the underwriting has been very conservative and, and so forth, okay? Um, so do, um, right now, uh, environment, environmental initiative and, and eco-friendly upgrades, Utilities currently total 195, but by converting some, uh, 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 to like LEDs and we're going to be implementing water uh, conservative programs, you know things like water such as something that can notify us when there's a leak or something like that, and this will reduce the cost so that we can maximize the allowable utility billback. Okay, that's called rubs. All right, so we can. Uh, 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 maximize that and, and, and recapture some of that money. And then you're looking at the additional uh, income sources. Um, we're looking at, you know, possibly like a, a bulk cable internet service that's going to be at, at a premium, okay, uh, to the residents, all right? So this here is to enhance work flow from the home because, you know, with uh, the current condition of COVID, I know that there are some people like myself still working from home so we're going to you know have something where uh, that can enhance their work from home okay and uh, also decrease that individual cost okay so we are definitely thinking about our our residents first okay our residents when it comes to this so here's the capital stack purchase price 12.25 million Renovation, we're going to put in 4.3. The closing cost, 728,000. Acquisition fee, 331,000. Reserves, 134,000. So the total cost, 17.75 million. The debt on this, 11.1. Capital raise, 6.5. Total resources, 17.651, okay? Um, so Kimra, who is the property manager, and I just want to go into this a little bit. And, and this is important for you to know because some may say that our move is very aggressive, okay? However, Kimra, has worked and has performed these types of renovations. 
She's in Houston. She's from Houston. She's managing properties right now in Houston. And she's on this deal in Houston. She's on this investment opportunity in Houston. She has a proven track record. She could get it done. And we know that she can. She has proven it. So 40 years of a multifamily experience nationwide. She's nationwide. All her assets, including ground up and development. Okay, she's working with institutional and, and in the private sector. So, so Kimra has um, has a lot um, has a lot that's backing her, and she's also a partner on this deal. And and here are some of her stats. Okay, uh, recently uh, uh, property management by her numbers currently under uh, under management over four thousand units. She has a team of over hundred. She has properties currently under a, a, more, a, a 34 property managed in the past 10 years, 107, okay? She's um, 20, she has 22,497 units managed in the last 10 years. She has worked, she has put $120 million in value at renovation, completed due diligence on 109, GP asset management, 42. So she has definitely done um, has done a great job. Um, so this is just previous managed properties here, here, here. This not, this isn't everything, but but she's definitely in the Houston property. So again, let's get into this renovation plan just a little more, okay? So what are we looking at doing uh, on the on the uh, safety initiatives? You know, repair access control gate because there's a, a gate here a gated a gate entry so the, we're going to definitely fix that you know looking at the um uh installing cameras uh license plate readers stuff like that um gfcis um looking at installing those smoke detectors carbon oxides you know repair you know the fence and it, it, the privacy fence you know, we're going to, you know, do repairs on that. So a lot of things here for safety and then environmental, of course, water conser uh, conservation program, LED, smart thermostats. We're going to really try to bring, the, we're going to really bring this property up to environmentals, uh, trying to get good, good environmental um, uh, uh, things installed so that it could save, it could save not just us uh, increase our NOI, but also uh, save with the resident. So, um, and the black screens, I wanted to point, it, point this out, install black window screens. You know, I was looking at my window screens and they're not black, but I guess we don't get hot like Texas, but that black really does um, help out. And also they're gonna put in two, um, uh, two high energy efficiency boilers. I could verify, from me having to put in um, a new uh, air conditioning systems, heating system, it has cut my uh, bill down. So I know when we put in these two new boilers here, it's gonna cut that bill down, okay? Okay, so uh, so the interior plans, you know, we have uh, uh, in-store wash and dryer hookups in, in all the units, okay? Um, it's going to be the stackable, um, stackables. Then you have we're going to install energy efficiency wash and dryers. I can I can vouch for that firsthand because when I, when uh, my wife and I installed our wash and dryer, yes, it did. It, it really did reduce our energy, um, uh, our cost on on the bill. Okay, new shaker style cabinets with you know and the ones that close real um, soft. And, and, and quietly, we don't slam, right? Um, hard surface countertop, stainless steel appliances package, and, and that's including the microwave, okay? We're gonna put in uh, 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 nice backsplashes and everything, wood inspired floor, flooring throughout. We're gonna modern efficient environment with plumbing, electrical, USB plugs. You know that is something that is fantastic when you could come in and 
you know, we got USB plugs around. You can plug in your phone, plug in your tablet, you know, stuff like that. Now, smart technology is fantastic when you, you can smart lock your house, your, your apartment, right? Um, I, you know, um, I, I, I also have the smart thermostat where wherever I'm from, I could look at my thermostat. Just want to show what I have. But, <laughs> but um, then they have the style, the uh, plantation style blinds. We have new doors, hardware, trim. We're going to upgrade light switches, outlets, cover plates, you know, really things, things to make the unit um, a, a more of an of a up class, of a, of a, you know, to bring this property up. Okay. So, and, uh, and so forth. Okay. Um, now, for the exterior enhancement, we are definitely looking at rebranding the community. We're going to put a, we're going to do a, a new monument sign and replace all the ancillary signage throughout. Minor building repairs, paint entire community exterior to a new branded uh, 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 aesthetics. Excuse me. Um, the driveway, parkway, lot over overlay. We're going to restripe add reserve parking. For those who want reserve parking, we will, we're going to be offering that. We're going to fix up the landscape, enhance that, repair gutters, downspouts, to make sure if the downspout, make sure that the water is moving away from the foundation of the property. We, um, we put in a, um, a pet park, right, with, le with a, 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 um, a leashing area, water access, and toys. Now, you know, that's fantastic for the dogs. We got, you know, you got to think about the pets. Um, replace and upgrade e existing playground and surface. We're going to add fitness studio um, over overlooking the swimming pool, and we are looking at converting one of the existing laundry rooms and install modern fitness equipment with a smart lock for 24-hour access. Okay, into this swimming pool is going to be um, repairs, and we're going to put a, a, a sun deck furniture. Okay. Outdoor kitchen grilling, so you, you could you could the, the the family or the neighbors could get together and and do things. You're gonna have new furniture, okay? Build privacy enclosures around the trash dumpster, so that you know you know you don't have to have the front the trash looking looking out there. And we're gonna um, redecorate the leasing office. Now, the, now I'm gonna show you some some uh, colors, some inspiration. This is the, they call it the inspiration board. But what it is, is, is letting you see the colors that um, some of the colors that we have picked. So I'm going to show you that. See, um, so um, the orange here, or not, not orange, that's Chinese red, <laughs> Chinese red. You know, we're going to do um, touch up, touch up the building, really make it look nice. Okay. Okay. Take it from take it from this. See this. See this right here. To this, and we're gonna see how that gray is. So it's really nice. See how that gray is. All right. We're gonna we're gonna bring the gray up. That gray up here. See how that is tan down here. See how the old color here, and that's tan. So we're gonna we're gonna paint uh, uh, the the buildings and everything. This here is the grill. You know that's a beautiful grill. Look at that. And the playground, look at this, beautiful. Converting the wash and dryer into the fitness, right? And here's um, for the dogs. And, and this here is a shipping, you know, shipping package place where you could, where it could be delivered, shipping, so it could be delivered, right? And this here, just some of the interior design of, you know, uh, and, and so forth of the, of, of the interiors. So the capital stack structure, common equity. The passive position, 36% of the capital stack share is upside of value add plan. The senior debt, we're gonna go, this is a bridge. Okay, this is a bridge. It's 4% interest. It's a 30 year AM, three year interest only. Then. And, and and this is with a 64% LTC, a loan to cost. 
64% loan to cost. When we refi, under, we underwrote this at 75% LTV. Okay, 4.5% interest, 30 year amortization. Okay, um, why do we pick this bridge? Because the, uh, the deal that we received with this bridge that is that we have a cap on the interest rate. So even if the economy takes a turn where say interest rates going up, our entry is locked, okay? And that, that, and see, that's the beautiful thing of having a loan officer on your uh, deal as a co-sponsor. Got us the best opp investment opportunity. So in the event of a downturn or whatever, we are, we are, we will be rolling right where we are because of the um, cap, because of the cap lock on it. Okay. So, so as I stated before, no management split until the pref is paid and capital is returned. No sales transaction fees until until the um, average annual return multiple is met. Pref returns not met are accrued, right? You know what I'm saying. If, they, if they're not met, they're going to accrue. But you're going to get paid before we get paid or before the uh, the managers get paid. So the manager's contribution, 10%, okay, 10%. Manager's contribution, 10% of the required capital to close will come from GP. Incentives, equity splits is what we have in place with personal net worth liquidity leveraged for uh, a non-recourse loan, okay? Right, and again, these are just the manager fees here. Acquisition fee, 2%. Asset management fee, 2%, construction fee, 5% of the rehab budget. And on disposition, it will be a 2% sale price of, of the sale price, excuse me. So performer underwriting assumptions, economic vacancy, conservative approach, uh, year one, 29%. Remember, I, I said that to you, we underwrote this at, at, uh, I said at 30%, 29%, okay? Year three stabilizes at 10%, okay? Income expense increases, Northwest Houston, three-year average rent of 4.1% with a year-to-date growth of 9.8. And that's according to CoStar, all right? Um, modeling basis, 2% income and 1.5% expense yearly on these on the increase uh, due to improvements in, in the uh, asset class, uh, excuse me, higher um, initial market rent growth is expected. Okay, additional income, um, priority parking package, which, as I mentioned, and of course, the water conservation program. And this just um, a slide of the forecasted financials you know, showing year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, um, how the revenue is just increasing year over year. And as you can see, the expenses are um, slightly increasing. If you if you look at the space between the dark, you'll see that slightly increasing, that's like that 1.5%. And then as you can see, the NOI is also increasing, all right? So just wanted to give you a little forecast of financial growth. So, so what's the next step? The next step is, uh, is the next step is the investment, okay? Now this project is being offered to accredited investors, okay? As a direct 506C offering. We are closing this deal in December. So I need you to act now. Right now, I've sent out the slides before. I was hoping everyone had a chance to review, and I will be following up with the video that I'm going to send out. But some of the investment sources you could use EQRP, SDRs, your 401k, solo 401k. If you have 
a military TSP loan, you could use that. There's whole life insurance policies that could be used. Savings could be used. Private equity can be used. All right. The minimum contribution is fifty thousand. All right. I will with this video. You sh you should uh you should receive the link to where you can go to um to invest uh to invest in this opportunity so the next step is um you know um the um spaces are limited so we need to act quickly um if you're interested in this particular opportunity let's take advantage of it because um this is a fantastic deal it really is um i know it says deadline november but it has been um extended to december and i will make that correction right here December 2021, and I will also put the link when you when you get the uh, the video. Um, I will also have the link inserted, inserted there. So, recap. One last one. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this, um, and to see that you're going to be getting a 75% IRR. You're getting a 12% a 12% PREF return, 1.85. Uh, target equity multiple, 65% of anticipated investment return by the end of year three, um, exit modeled for year uh, five, and um, that we are below market of $343. Here's my email address, daryl at murphybannergroup.com. If you have any questions, and I'm going to be reaching out to you so that um, hopefully we, you could be in on this deal. So the next step is to invest now, take advantage of this and take advantage of the opportunity. And for those of you that are watching, if you have any questions, please reach out to me so I can answer any questions that you have. And I look forward to working with you on this investment opportunity. Thank you for your time and thank you for your patience. Have a great day.